Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking, feeling about you? What are their intentions towards you? How do they view you or this connection? And what do they wish they could tell you? So let's jump right in for Aries. Messages, please. Guidance for the sign of Aries regarding love, regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with. What does Aries need to know? How is Aries viewing this connection, or how is this person viewing Aries or this connection? Is actually the right question. How is this person viewing Aries? Or this connection spirit what are they thinking or feeling when they view aries or this connection how are they viewing aries five of swords interesting i'm thinking of a fight how are they viewing aries or this connection something did not work out okay the magician with the world at the bottom of the deck so i think that there's already a conflict that exists or some sort of difficulty here with the five of swords when they think about you or they're viewing you or they're viewing this connection, they're thinking there's a problem here, either the way that they've treated you or the way things have just happened or an argument that happened, a fight or some sort of like issue, an issue exists. And I feel like this person is motivated with the magician wanting to make something happen here regarding a new start perhaps, because the world's at the bottom of the deck, let's see. What can you tell me about the magician? Why is the magician here? Yeah, the six of wands. So this is somebody that wants success. They want to make something happen. They want victory. They want to make this happen. Okay, tell me more about the magician. I feel like what they want to happen is the world, a new, a new cycle, a new chapter. Why is the magician here? What's the magician doing here, spirit? What do you need to know? What do we need to know about the magician? What do we need to know? King of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Yeah, so this is about harmony. This is about someone taking charge of this situation. And the Six of Wands and the Four of Wands are telling me that this is somebody that's hoping for a resolution, happiness, for something to be fixed, for something to be addressed. Because things have not been great with this Five of Swords. Spirit, tell me more about what's going on here. This person's overall energy towards Aries. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's overall energy towards Aries? What do we need to know? Balancing act. You're juggling multiple things at once and then time out. I'm getting like anxiety. I'm getting that someone's trying to figure something out. Maybe they're going back and forth with themselves, trying to do too much at once or just kind of like all over the place. And it's because they feel that time is important. Maybe time is running out or they already missed their chance before and they don't want to miss their chance now, something like that. What is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to Aries? How do they feel about Aries? How do they feel about Aries? The High Priestess, okay, secrets mystery how do they feel about aries i think this person hasn't told you wow the sun yeah this is about it's like they want to open up because this person has hidden something from you yeah judgment i feel like this person is going to i don't know it's almost like they haven't come forward until now or are think are hard thinking about coming forward but they haven't yet because there's some sort, it's like they're, they've hidden something from you or kept something to themselves. Yeah, two of swords. It's, again, this like battle between themselves. It's like they're conflicted, this person. Now, when I see the high priestess and the sun, I instantly think of someone that wants to 
reveal something. They want to open up. Whatever was hidden or mysterious or tucked away is now out in the open. It's seen. It's vibrant. It's, you know, ref it's something that you can see with your eyes, right? It's like it's in your face, like the sun. And then when I saw judgment, because, okay, so judgment is really a card about looking back at the past, learning from your mistakes, learning from where you've been, having some sort of awakening about what you truly, you know, have been through and, and where you're supposed to go next. It's about revival, resurrection, it's about second chances, rebirths, all that good stuff. But when I saw this card here with the High Priestess and the Sun, I thought this person's realizing something about the fact that it, it, whatever they're realizing is about this secrecy. Whatever they've kept hidden, there's been an awakening about that. So for example, this could be that somebody has not told you how they felt, they have not come forward, They've only thought about it to themselves. And so they're realizing, wow, if I keep quiet, nothing's going to happen. Or maybe they realize looking back that, you know, whatever conflict this is, they had more of a part to play than they realized. Wow, it wasn't all their fault. Some of it was my fault too. And as they're internalizing this, they're thinking, I should talk about this or I should bring this to Aries. But they're conflicted. They're not sure. They're kind of blocked here with the Two of Swords, undecided. What else do we need to know about this individual? Spirit, what else do we need to know about this person that Aries is has or will be dealing with? What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about them? Slaying a dragon, triumph, enemies, achievement. I feel like this person knows that this obstacle needs to be addressed. There's there's something that is like a problem, an issue that exists between you and this person. I'm not talking to an Aries where you and this person only have happy memories and like no problems, no conflict. Carriage, this card keeps coming out for everyone. Arrival, movement, travel. So again, I'm thinking about the magician here some sort of movement being made someone taking action of some sort the magician is a doer um, but the king of pentacles showing up here even though this person is very like i need to be successful they're also being very um i don't want to say calculating but they, they're really thinking things through let me get one more i don't know why i feel like any one more but i do what else do we need to know about this individual It's almost like this person's thinking, I need to make a move or take some sort of action, go somewhere to deal with this dragon, this obstacle. Oh, I got two. A new chapter, celebration and divine feminine princess. Yeah, and then there's the labyrinth card at the bottom of the deck. Confusion, uncertainty, complexity. That's the problem. This person is like a mess internally. Um, when it comes to what they're thinking, they're like this, this two of swords. They're completely blocked. And this balancing act card too, like I was getting someone that has like too much going on, but mentally. It's like they have too much in their head right now. They know what they want. They want their divine feminine and they want a new beginning. This is that world energy that already showed up. This is what they want. The problem is the obstacle that exists. What is this person's intentions? What are their intentions towards Aries at this time? I feel like this person is thinking time is running out. Um, and I think that they're feeling a little backed against the corner because now that they've had this realization, what are they going to do about it? Can they do something about it? How much time do they have to get that done? What are their um, intentions towards Aries? What are their intentions? Seven of Swords. Well, that's not good. I don't like the Seven of Swords with an intentions um, placement just because it doesn't necessarily have to be a terrible thing. Yeah, the Knight of Cups is here. Um, I think this person might surprise you with this apology, but that because the Seven of Swords is here, it's like not the best approach because the Seven of Swords for me, it's like you're not confronting something or um, addressing something head on. You're doing things, you're beating around the bush you're ignoring certain things or 
approaching a problem in a way that you feel you will benefit from or that you feel will be the easiest for you. So the Seven of Swords, when it, when it's like the intentions card, sometimes you can look at it as somebody that's strategizing, but I always feel like this is someone that might make a mistake or something might backfire, right? Um, but the Knight of Cups is here, which tells me, that, I mean, it gives me a little bit, it, it makes me feel a little bit better because the Knight of Cups is not a player. The Knight of Cups is not this liar or um, someone that takes advantage of others. They tend to be very uh, genuine. So I feel like what's going on here is this person's intentions is to apologize or express themselves to you in a very honest, emotional way. However, I feel like with the Seven of Swords, it's almost like they might surprise you with this or they might sneak around and then kind of spring this on you, like that kind of energy. And then the Three of Wands here, it's almost like they're waiting for the right time to spring this on you. You know, it's like, I'm going to wait for the right time and then I'm just going to tell Aries what I feel. And that might backfire. I'm not saying that I will 100% for all of you, but I feel like if they're not careful, that that whole um, approach might backfire. What do they wish they could tell Aries? What do they wish they could tell Aries, Spirit, at this time? What does this person wish they could tell Aries? The Ace of Wands. Let's have a new beginning. A new start. Let's start over. What do they wish they could tell Aries? What do they wish they could tell Aries? What does this person wish they could tell Aries? Strength. Leo energy there. Hmm. Strength being here is very interesting to me. Let me clarify before I jump to conclusions. <laughs> Tell me about strength. Tell me about strength, spirit. Why is strength here? Why is strength here? Seven of Wands. Okay, so this is about courage. Fighting back. Okay, so what I'm getting here, there's the moon at the bottom of the deck, by the way. Pisces energy. What I'm getting here, it's almost like somebody saying, like, let's move past what's happened. Let's start over and let's address things differently. Maybe we can just be like, you know, fight this obstacle together, right? We can address the issues between us and fight this issue together because there's already an issue here. Remember that. Um, this person could also appear to be very confident, very self-assured. Um, I'm also getting somebody that uh, they're not going to, um, I don't know, it's, it's almost this energy of someone that when they come forward, everything they say is the right thing because they've already, they're already sure of what they want. Some of you, I feel like this person is going to be very brave or try to be brave because you might block this or resist this with the Seven of Wands. Maybe when they come forward for this new beginning, you might be like, I'm not interested. And maybe because of the issue that already exists. And so maybe they just need a little bit of courage to face that possible rejection. What is in this person's heart space? What do they wish they could tell Aries? What do they wish they could tell Aries? Mistakes, yes, I've made a mistake. Mistakes were made. Time apart, yeah. I, I feel like you and this person, yeah, they walked away. Time apart, departure, and bottom of the deck, even though we are apart, our souls are united. So even though there's been a separation here, even though this person has depart, like walked away, or this connection has had time apart, I feel like they know this is a strong connection. Yeah, they're regretting the past. There's regretting the past too. So there's a lot of regrets here. This person feels like they've made a mistake somewhere down the line, Aries. That's what you need to know. But I also feel like whatever issue is between you has not been fully addressed. It's still a problem because when this person views this connection, they, they know that. They think of that. 
And, you know, it's almost like this is a labyrinth of issues <laughs> between me and Aries. Um, it's a very complex situation. It's not going to be easy to get out of this. I mean, they even, the slaying a dragon card came out. This is like triumph over an obstacle. So I feel like there has been already an issue here. But what I feel is that this person wants a new beginning. They want a new start, a new chapter. They definitely are conflicted about how to make this happen, but I don't think they're conflicted about how they truly feel about you now. Maybe in the past they were, but not right now. So I feel like in the near future, we're, we're gonna check that and they extended to get uh, confirmation, but I feel like this is somebody that's gonna bring you a Knight of Cups. That's their intention. They wanna bring you a Knight of Cups. Now, are they gonna be successful? I'm not sure, but that's that's their intention. So I'm going to take this to the extended and we're going to look at where all of this is headed next. What can you expect in the near future from this person specifically and from this connection? And I also want to look a little bit at the challenge that exists between you and the advice that Spirit has for that obstacle or challenge. So if you'd like to know more, check out the extended. They're a little bit shorter, but packed with information and more affordable. So um, check it out if you haven't checked those out in a while. Uh, linked in the description box along with all of the links that you're interested in. If you're interested in any of the Oracle decks that I use today, these are all my own decks and I sell them on Etsy and I link that. Thank you so much for watching Aries. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Hopefully it resonated for you and hopefully I'll see you on another video very soon. Take care.